Hey friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I have another Halloween inspired makeup tutorial and today's video is inspired by a pumpkin. So the first thing I'm going to do is use this orange paint from the Halloween store. This is a paint which is water based so you basically make your brush wet uh, with some water and then you kind of dip it into paints and then you can apply it on your face. So I'm using a basic foundation brush and I'm going to apply this all over my face. So then for the next step, I took a sponge and I'm going to dip this all over my face just to make sure that I have an even base. I don't want any strokes of that foundation base to show up. Then I took this black paint, which is also from the Halloween store. This is just a basic black paint, which is water-based as well. And I'm first going to start with creating my mouth and I'm going to kind of create a line at both corners of my mouth and I'm going to take them really far towards my jaw. If you have seen my previous video where I did a skull, I started with the same step, just creating the mouth first because this is just really easy. Then I'm going to create the teeth and these are going to be like really sharp and square. With this you don't have to be very precise. Not every teeth has to be like the same shape. You can definitely go in with a bigger teeth, then go in with a smaller one and go back in with a bigger teeth again. Um, yeah, basically it's not like super precise work. I do want to mention this look is inspired by an Instagram girl, which I came across when I searched for the hashtag, hashtag Halloween makeup. I will put her Instagram in the description bar. Also, I will give full credit on my Instagram to her because I really love the look as she did. So I just looked at her picture and I tried to like make it look as close as possible even though she didn't like upload a tutorial as far as I know but I just looked at her picture and I tried to do exactly the same things as she did so I'm not like a Halloween pro this is the, the second time I'm doing like a dramatic look like this but I have to say I really enjoy doing this it's so different than doing eye looks you can be more messy and just kind of I don't know I found it really relaxing and Halloween has always been a thing that when I felt like, oh my god, Halloween is coming, I always wanted to skip those weeks of people doing Halloween because I always felt like I couldn't do it and I just felt really anxious, I guess. But now that I have finally took the step to do these dramatic looks, it gave me so much more confidence. So I'm really happy and kind of proud of myself that I finally took the step to create it uh, or to kind of try it myself. So this is definitely a tip I want to give you guys. Don't be scared, just try it and maybe you are so much better than you expect and I'm sure you guys can do it because it's not even that hard but you just have to be patient and yeah, I think you really have to take your time with this. So now I'm going to create my nose shape and this is something I really struggled with. I think this was like the hardest part of them all. Also maybe because I was like recreating someone's look and everyone's nose is different but this really took me a long time but it's not even that hard but maybe because i did this for the first time um even though the nose looks like exactly the same as my skull look from my previous video but yeah some for some reason i found it really hard so now i'm going to create the eye shape and first i created two lines like kind of towards my nose like all the way at the inner corner of my eye and then I realized like creating lines will make it look really harsh so I took a big blending brush and I just went in with the same black paint and I'm just going to blend it all the way around my eyes to make it look more blended around the edges.
So now for the next step, I'm taking this Inglot black eye pencil, which is one of my favorite black eye pencils ever, just because it stays perfectly in place in the waterline. I'm just going to apply this all over in my waterline, also tight lining my upper lashes, just to make it look as black as possible. Then I'm taking this palette from the Balm Cosmetics, which is the Meat Matte Trimini palette, and I'm going to use the black eyeshadow that comes in it. I'm taking a very big fluffy blending brush and just applying the black eyeshadow all over my eyelid because I felt like the paint was from itself kind of um, dewy. It kind of looks like it was shining, so I wanted it to get matte. So now I'm taking this palette from Kiro's Beauty, I'll put all the names of the products I've used in the description bar and I'm taking this orangey red color. I'm going to start to create lines all over my face because a pumpkin has lines as well and the girl in the picture that I followed had these lines as well. So this is basically the shadow of the lines, I'm going in with a few more colors to, to make it more intense but this is the first color to give it more like a sort of definition shadow kind of thing and I really like the effect that this gave the whole look I really think it made it complete I feel like if you only look at the eyes the nose and the lips it's not really special but this definitely gave it like a different twist which I really liked so I just keep adding like those strokes all over my face then I'm taking the Trimony palette again and mixing these two shades together and I'm going to blend that in the middle part of where I just created these strokes so I'm not going all like all over these lines that I created. I'm trying to really put this product in the center so that the shade that I applied before this, that red corally color, now kind of fades next to it, which gives a very nice shadow. I really hope you guys understand what I mean. And then I went in with some black eyeshadow and I tapped off most product because I really wanted this brush to have like the least black product on it but I want to create even more darkness in the center, so I applied a very tiny amount in the center as well. And I think the brush I'm using is a E45 from Sigma. This is a blending brush with a very precise point, which worked really well with this step, because you don't want it to be like too white. So now I'm going back in with the black paint from the Halloween store, and I'm going to create sort of cracks <laughs> right above my eye. Just to give it a little bit more of a different twist. This is also what the girl uh, in the picture did of which I recreated this. And I think this definitely gave it a little bit more of a twist around the area. Because I feel like those adding those extra things just makes it look more pro, if that makes sense. Like you can also leave it like with orange base, the eyes, the nose and the mouth. But I feel like adding those extra steps definitely makes it look more realis realistic. So now I'm taking this eyeliner from Ico, which is a really nice one. It has a very precise point. So I'm going to make the mouth area, well, the teeth that I created a little bit sharper because I wasn't really pleased with how it looks. So for this, you can just grab one of your liquid liners, just an eyeliner that you find working well, or you can use that same paint, but with a very precise brush and just make those lines, well, the edges of your teeth a little bit more sharper. So I'm kind of going upwards, so you get like a very precise point at the edges. So now I'm going back in with the Trimony palette from the Balm Cosmetics, taking that black color again and applying a little bit more at certain places. I was just looking at the look and thinking like, where is a little bit product missing? Also around the edge of my eye at my left side, because I felt like the corners were not looking blended enough. And now I'm going to apply this all over in my hairline. Uh, I wanted just to wear my own natural hair with this look. I didn't want it to wear a wig or anything, but I felt like the skin on my hair, like on my skull was so white. So it didn't really like melt into the orange. So I just wanted to make this as black as possible. And I feel like this way it looks so much better. So now I removed the bun in my hair, which was really tight. And uh, my hair was a little bit like messy that day, which I think looks so much better than if it would be like really straight. 
I think your hair needs to be a little bit wild for this look. So yeah, then here you have the finished result. I really hope you guys enjoy watching this video. If you recreate this look, don't forget to tag me, even though I feel like all credit goes to the girl that I recreated this look of, which I will put down in the description bar. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. This will be really helpful for my YouTube channel and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!